Hey, what's up guys? I have 10 more Helmholtz to complete before I get the bloodied Mugen legend title. Mugen. In this video, we're going to see if I can get lucky and get some drops before I finish getting the title. Also, a lot of people have been asking whether Helmholtz is even worth it. So in this video, I will be answering that question. We'll see what loot we can get from these next 10. And then I'll go over every big drop I've gotten from 100 Helmholtz completions. We'll also see what kind of damage we can do after getting the title. All right, let's get it. Really quick, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Last video got over 20K views in two days and I passed 500 subscribers. Let's see if we could top that. Typical Akaza L. Dang, I only got 16% damage. Yo, team went crazy. Yo, yo, they about to fight. Man, I've seen this cutscene so many times. Yo, I might just start skipping these. All right, let's see what I got. Dang, I got a single flesh. Pretty typical of Mugen Train, I ain't gonna lie. All right, so that should be our 91st completion. Let's keep going, man. You know, that boy getting slapped up. Let me switch my gear. All right, where I'm at, 20%, 21%. Yes, sir, I'll take that. Yup, yup, here we go again. Yo, Akaza, just slide me that shirt, man. Pause. Yo, just give me something, man. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got. Kitsune mask and a living flesh. You know what? It's better than getting no drops, so I'll take it. Alright, so that should be 92 completion. Yeah, let's keep going. Yo, that whole fight lasted a good 40 seconds. It's too easy, man. Yo, Akaza needs a buff, bro. I swear. All right, let's see what we got. We got a necklace. So these, these drops need a buff, too. All right, that should be 93. 92. Yeah, 93. 93. We got seven more to go. We got to keep going, man. All right, I'm going to shut up. Maybe Akaza will slide me some. Alright, let's see. We got... Literally nothing. Yo, somebody got the blue hat, though. Why oh, I can't get the blue hat? <laughs> Yo, he got Emu and a hat. That's crazy. All right, let's see. We got 94, six more to go. We in there. All right. Zoom. Zoom. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Those sound effects, they're inscribed in my head, man. It's crazy. All right, let's see what we got. We got a lantern. Yo, I swear I got like 10 of these already, man. And we got a ticket. Yeah, that's whatever. All right, we should be at 95. Yeah, 95. We're getting close, man. We're getting close. Yo, start the chant. Start the chant. Mugen train. Mugen train. Mugen train. Mugen train. All right, come on, man. Give me something, yo. Give me something. All right, we got a skull scythe and an orb. Yo, it actually kind of worked. That's the best drops we got so far. I'll take it. All right, we should be, I think at 96. Yeah, 96. We're so close, man, so close. Let's keep going. Yo, all these hell modes, man, they got me losing my mind, man. I'm depressed. I ain't showering like four days. I'm playing, man. Just Akaza, give me something, man. Or tell your boy Enmu to give me something. Let's see what we got. We got claws, yo. Caden blessed us. <laughs> Alright. I believe we should be at 97. Yeah, 97. Only got three more to go. We got this. Alright. Another smooth run. Man, to be honest, I don't even care about the drops anymore. Like, at this point, I just want to get the title. Like, we're so close to the end. Like, give me whatever. I don't care, man. Regardless, let's see what we got. Oh, somebody got Kitsune. We got a necklace and claws, yo. It's whatever. Dang, he said third Kitsune. I swear, 
Home mode only drops Kitsune is in sight, yo, I swear. All right, we should be at 98, yep. Two more to go. We're so close to the end, man. I'm so hyped, finally. All right, boys, we pulling up on our 99th win. Yeah, I don't understand the struggle of doing so many hell modes, so many noobs that have been carried, so many failures, so many bugs and glitches. We made it, though. Hey, yo. My boy hit us with a five-piece McChicken combo. <laughs> Still took an L though. Also, make sure you guys check the link in the description for the Hell Mode server. We grew to 350 members. We're making improvements every day, so hopefully soon we can start running Hell Modes all day to help you guys get your completions too. All right, let's see what we got. We got two tickets and an orb. Man, it's whatever. We only got one more to do. Hold on, let me pull it up right quick. Yes, sir. 99 completions. All right, we got the last one, man. Let's get it. Oh, I forgot to switch my loadout. So good. All right, boys, we finally made it. 100 hell mode completions after 100 plus hours. Hold on, hold on. Where's the notification? There it goes. Successfully unlocked the Bloody Mugen Legend title, man. Finally. And then we get a necklace. Man, they could have gave me an Akaza top for the 100. Or like a dev top or something. Yo, he said it's over. How he know? Oh. Oh, he's talking about something else. I thought, I was like, how does this man even know? Anyways, we about to go see how much M1 damage I can do now that I have the title. And then we'll go over all the big drops I've gotten from Hell Mode. Hold up, let's equip the title, display. Yo, that thing looking clean, man, I'm hype. All right, we're back at the cave. Now, before we go over the drops, I wanna see how much damage I can do now that I have the title. This is the gear I'm currently wearing. We got the Samurai Amigasa, the Tigris Mask. A lot of people don't know this, but this mask actually gives you more damage than the Polar Mask. We got the Red Scarf. The only necklace that gives you damage is the Champion Necklace, which I sadly don't have. We got a Kaza top and bottom. We're going to be running the Feminine Uniform. Now, I don't recommend wearing this, but with certain loadouts, this actually gives you an extra M1. And then finally, we got the Rengoku Haori. For titles, we have all of the titles that drop from NPCs like Bandit Killer. We also have the greatest title and obviously the legend title. If you guys want me to show you how to get the greatest title, let me know in the comments. Okay, I'm wearing tier 3 Devourer fans. I also switched my clan to Soyama because Soyama is the clan that does the most damage. Alright, let's see how much damage we can do. Dang, we got 80 M1 with a 160 final hit. That's crazy. All right, let's see it with the war drums now. 95 with a 190 final hit. That's insane. And you can actually increase this damage even more by lowering down your HP and then turning on Furiosity. Just look how fast this man dies. So a lot of people asked me if it was even worth doing 100 hell modes. Well, as you guys saw, I did not get a single drop in the last 10 runs, and honestly, it's been more of the same for the other 90. In total, the only drops I got from 100 Hell Modes were two dev tops and one dev bottom. That's literally it. If we check the encyclopedia, those are both 0.5%, with the Akaza and Emu stuff at 0.125%, but I didn't even get any of those. If I wear my drop rate loadout, well, you can't really see it, but it used to be 17.5% before the title. Also, Helmut gives, I believe, a double drop rate chance over normal Mugen train, and that chance is further increased on the weekends. Let me know in the comments if I received as many drops as I should have, or if Helmut owes me some items. As far as was it worth it? Hell no. Yeah, I guess it was worth it. Who else out here doing 80 M1 with no buffs or champion gear? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go slap some noobs up in public servers. Make sure to join in discords, follow my Twitch, my TikTok, like the video, and subscribe to the channel. Yo, do all of that. Alright, peace.